On an 825 gigabyte PlayStation 5, you only get 667 gigabytes of usable storage. So here's everything you can do to make that storage count, reducing it as low as you can, and best practices when it comes to actually expanding your storage. First off, let's go over a few things you should know if you're looking to simply make the best use of the onboard storage. There's not a lot of games that offer this, but sometimes you have the option of deleting certain parts of a game. The most noteworthy example being Call of Duty, where you can choose to remove certain modes to save space. The easiest way to check for this for other games is to head to Settings, Storage, Console Storage, or M.2 Storage, be sure to check both if you're using both, and on any game, choose Select Items to Delete. You're not going to delete anything yet, just scroll through your games and if you see this pencil icon on the right, that's a game that will let you delete a portion of it instead of the whole thing. Next, we'll try reducing the media gallery. One thing your PS5 is always doing is capturing your gameplay in case you want to share a video. You can also manually capture screenshots with the create button. Now, you cannot tell your PS5 to not do this. At a system level, it will always record gameplay behind the scenes for an hour long on a rolling basis, but if you find yourself doing a lot of manual captures and you enjoy sharing clips, it might be better to use the auto upload feature. This will allow you to access your screenshots and videos from the PlayStation app for iOS and Android. That way you can save those files outside of your PS5 first, so you can safely delete them from the console. Just note for videos, only non-4K files under 3 minutes will auto-upload to the app, and that's just more of a modern, easier way to do it, otherwise you can simply copy those files to a USB drive instead. Now, the other thing your PS5 does is save screenshots and video clips whenever you earn a trophy. On their own, these files are small and negligible, but if you play a lot of games and earn a lot of trophies, you might be eating up enough space to store another game entirely. If you don't care about this, change it in Settings, Capture and Broadcasts, Auto Captures, and Trophies. You can turn them off completely, or just set it so it only captures those valuable Platinum Trophy moments. And before you leave this menu, back out and also disable challenges. This PS5 feature isn't really used all that much, but just in case you're playing something that does support challenges, then it won't save anything. Next up, let's go over the other category. Your PS5 will say this data is reserved for games and apps to work properly, and that the amount is based on higher consoles being used. The reality is we don't know exactly how the space is used and what always falls in it, but there are some conclusions to be drawn. Namely, if you're installing PS4 games on the PS5's SSD, this will normally increase your other storage. It varies from game to game, and sometimes it decreases, but this is usually one way it goes up. Another way that's more out of your control is when you pause downloads or cancel game installs. Sometimes they seem to get stuck in storage limbo and they might contribute to your other storage. There's also other separate DLC items or separate downloads that may contribute to the space as well, alongside messages or notifications. As a general rule of thumb, other storage will stay at a minimum if you're installing PS4 games on an external drive or an M.2 drive. Even though M.2 storage does have the other category, PS4 games will not use excess storage like if they were installed internally. I've tested a handful of games and found that it's only internal storage that often includes 10 or so extra gigabytes per PS4 game installed, but again that depends greatly on the title. The point is, space efficiency is poor if you only have console storage for PS4 games, but you can always delete PS4 titles and they should free up the other storage they originally took. But what if you're past that? and you're stuck with other storage at a high amount. What if deleting your PS4 games does not help? Here's what you'll want to do in order of simple to a last resort. Enter safe mode by having your PS5 completely powered off. Press and hold the power button. You'll hear the first beep like normal. And then the second beep a few seconds later. Connect a controller via USB, and then select Clear System Software Cache. If that doesn't work, try Safe Mode again, and then select Rebuild Database. Neither of these options will touch your save files or games, but it might identify and remove files clogging up your other storage. If that doesn't work, you have two options. One is risky, and one is safe. Let's just get the risky one out of the way, since it does tend to work for a lot of people that are stuck with hundreds of gigabytes in other storage. You'll want to force your PS5 into the screen where it says, your PS5 was not turned off properly. This is more of a precautionary screen, the vast majority of the time your PS5 is being, well, dramatic, but still, you don't want to make a habit out of doing this. 
Anyway, put the console in rest mode, and for those that are using timestamps and jumped right to this, I'm going to tell you right now, do not do this unless you've tried deleting PS4 games off your console storage. That's normally the culprit. Anyway, then remove the AC cable. When you get the screen, your PS5 runs some checks and repairs, and this oftentimes will clear your other storage if you can't reduce it any other way. So in this example, you'll see I actually was able to remove a few gigabytes going from 103 to 99, despite me not having any major issues, because again, you should only do this if clearing PS4 games does not help. Please do this at your own risk, and I would 100% recommend avoiding this at all costs. There's always a chance you can put your console in a brick position, forcing a system restore with all your data gone in the process. That's why the safe way is, back up your save files to PS Plus, use an external drive if you want to save your game captures, and then do a factory reset under system, system software, reset options, reset your console. You will have to reinstall games, but this does give you a clean slate and hopefully one where you can add an external drive to your PS5 for your PS4 games. Which, that brings us to the best and most affordable way to save space, buy an external drive for PS4 games. At this point, I think most people probably know this is the way to go, but seriously, if you're not doing this just yet, grab one. PS5 can accept up to 8 terabytes for an external HDD or SSD, and if you shop around for a traditional hard disk drive, then you're going to easily find the lowest price per gigabyte. For SSDs, they're not totally necessary, they will cost more, but they're generally smaller physically, so you can hide them more easily if you don't want a big drive sticking out of your console. Just use one of the rear USB ports. I tuck my SSD underneath my PS5 next to the stand. The other benefit to SSDs is that your PS4 games will load a little faster too, but all around playing PS4 games off any external drive saves that precious PS5 SSD for PS5 games, and it will still boost the performance of PS4 games for faster load times and improved frame rates. Also, in your storage settings, make sure you adjust it so whenever you install a PS4 game, it installs on extended storage first. Now, the other benefit to external drives is that even though you can't play PS5 games off them, you can still store PS5 games there, the benefit being that it's much faster to move them back and forth instead of deleting and reinstalling, especially if you've got primarily digital games and a slow internet speed. It could take much longer to re-download a game versus simply copying it back and forth. But of course, there's simply no getting around wanting more storage for PS5 games that are ready to play. That's where an M.2 SSD comes in that you install in your PS5's expansion bay. This is a great option because like PS3 and PS4, Sony lets you use any third-party drive as long as 1. It's fast enough, 2. Has a heatsink, and 3. Can comfortably fit inside the expansion bay. I'll leave a link below for a thorough guide on how to install one of these if you're unfamiliar, but my general advice here is shop around before picking a drive. You have options, so use them. PCIe 4 M.2 SSDs are still pretty expensive, so look for the best price you can afford. And really, I would recommend, if you can wait, just do it. Price per gigabyte always comes down with time. Case in point, my 1TB SSD without a heatsink cost $250 in 2020, now it's around $100 as of October 2022. So really, I'd recommend against dropping $400 something dollars on a 4TB M.2 SSD right now. The longer you wait, the better. Storage doesn't have to be expensive on PS5 unless you really need it right now. But hopefully with these tips, you'll have plenty of room for the prices to eventually come down, or for Sony to upgrade base model consoles with more onboard storage if you don't have a PS5 just yet, or you're planning to buy a later revision. Now, just a little extra tip here, but when it comes to actually deleting games, if you didn't know, you can manage the console storage from the PlayStation app. You can tap the storage icon in the top right underneath the friends icon, and as long as your PS5 is in rest mode, you can remotely delete games across console storage, M.2, and external USB. Really useful if you're trying to start a download while you're at work or something, but you don't have the space for it to actually initiate the download. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you found this useful, and if you haven't just yet, please consider subscribing for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Mystic Ryan, and that is it. I will see you all in my next video, you take it easy.